Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and if you're familiar with the channel, our What's Matter M30S died previously. Uh, it's been living in immersion liquid, which is why there's no fans on the front and back. And one time, it just, every time I powered it up uh, recently, there was a weird sound coming from this area of the power supply, which makes me think, especially with the errors, that the power supply is dead. Um, so the goal is to try to get this What's Matter M30S working and here I have a replacement power supply which you can order off of Zeus Mining and a couple others and the stock fans that came with it. We won't need the power supply fan because a new one comes with it, uh, but these two fans we need to put back on because this is not going back in the immersion liquid. So there's the power supply fan right there. However, I do need to report to the seller two problems. One, the cable that connects between the power supply and the control board, you can see right here. Because this has been an immersion liquid, this is a little bit brittle, so I need to be careful but I might have to reuse this because the new one is janked up pretty bad if you look at that. Also, if you look right here, the metal is bent. That shouldn't be a big deal or a deal breaker because the metal is right here. This, that metal flap is right here. It's not really interfering with anything, so we should be fine there. But that is uh, a bit of annoyance because I was worried about this power cable uh, or communication cable between the power supply and control board uh, being the cause of all my errors and now the new one is jacked up as well. So I might have to use the old one but the goal is to try to get this What's Minor M30S up and running. Uh, I'm not going to take, uh, you know, take you along the entire journey but we need to first remove this control board because these power supplies are connected to their miners via bus bars not your traditional 8-pin or 6-pin power um, that you would see on some of the old S9s and stuff like that. But it's just four screws, two on each side, to lift this front section up. I showed that in a previous video when we were replacing the adapter board and so on and so forth. And then once I remove the screws connecting the bus bar, it's just a couple of screws uh, on either side to remove the power supply off the miner itself. But I definitely need to go fishing and try to see if I can get this cable replaced with the old one and then put the stock fans back on. So I will give you updates in between, but my first goal is to try to crack this one open and see if I can get to that cable and then start working on this one to see if I can grab this cable or remove it from the old power supply. Well, this is the end of the video because while this side of the cable actually plugs into the control board and I can pop it off, the other side of the cable does not. It looks like it's directly pinned into this daughter board right here. This is actually a separate board that connects to the main power supply board. But these are the internals of this particular power supply. If anybody wants to take notes, pause the screen, look at anything in particular, uh, the seller just needs to give me a different one or give me my money back. Unfortunately, uh, and to get this cover off, all it was was three screws on either side. The third screw on this side was behind this label. Uh, so very easy to just pull off, whereas the older one, to get to the fan over here, you could see that there's a division, right? So I would undo the four screws on the back side here and good to go. There are only four screws that are on the back side here for the fan. Uh, so yeah, this one's a little bit different than this one, but it would still work. However, with this mangled connector, with this mangled connector, it's... You know, I'm just shot out of luck, man. And there's no way to pull this off, unfortunately. Uh, there was, you know, the normal protective uh, silicon around it, or silicon. But yeah, I can't, I can't just pull that out. It's not a ribbon cable I could replace. Uh, so yeah, that's the end of this video. As soon as I get a replacement power supply, I will come back with another update. I'm just put all this stuff back up, try to get another power supply if the guy won't get my money back or replace it because I uh, opened it, unfortunately, thinking that I could replace this cable. Then I'm just gonna take the L and be out 160 bucks or 170 or whatever I paid. All right, well, thanks so much for stopping by. Uh, do me a favor, hit the like button on the way out. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit notification bell to stay up to date and uh, all that good jazz. I'll catch you on the next one. Ooh, that almost hit the board right there. Looks like it. Hope the board's okay. Anyways, can't do anything with it now.